What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be taking a look at this week's forecast, seeing what the stars have in store for us. So let's get into it. As always, shout out to the Scorpios celebrating birthdays this week. This is the last leg of Scorpio season. By the end of this week, we'll be in Sagittarius season. So, um, word of advice is just uh, definitely a time to, uh, with everything going on, retrogrades finishing, another retrograde beginning, just looking looking at how you've changed, how the retrogrades help you change or transform what you released, uh, the previous full moon, and you know, things of that nature. So it was, it's a good time to review for Scorpio season. Um, you know, Scorpios uh, with birthdays this week, pay attention. This is your solar energy for the year. All right. So we've survived one retrograde. Now it's time for another one. And y'all know me, I'm not even like one of those people like, oh my God, retrogrades are terrible. You know, they, they feel how they feel, but ultimately it's a time for discovery. So very interesting times with uh, Venus still being direct now, but still in the shadow period. So it's revisiting uh, the places that it went during the retrograde. And I really, this is why I stress to everybody about like just taking notes, man, and, and really paying attention to what happens when certain aspects are occurring. If you've got energy around these degrees, so whether this Venus is trying one of your other planets opposing or whatever, there's definitely significant things, you know, occurring uh, within your life. And it's best to, you know, be aware of, you know, how you can take advantage of that or further learn from it. So uh, with it going back through these degrees, I would just, you know, pay attention and try to understand what the universe is, is showing us about uh in this particular area of life. So, for example, say you may have met someone when Venus first went through these degrees, right? Not even when it was in pre-shadow. Say you met someone then, okay? And you've been talking to them or whatever, or you got a promotion. You basically want to see from then till now, what have you learned? How, how has that uh, progressed? Have you messed that up in some type of way? Right. And try to gain further understanding of a pattern or, you know, how you have taken advantage of that, gotten better or whatever. So I would say the, the shadow period is a continued time to learn because it's we're going to revisit or be shown again certain qualities about ourselves or, you know, why we met someone or why this occurred, okay? So just, you know, that's some uh, food for thought. But Venus still is in its shadow period. Um, so Mercury is now retrograde. And Mercury retrogrades are, you know, it's that time where communication isn't meant to be uh, uh, flowing. Okay, it's really a receptive time communication. We need to be communicating inwards. It, this is a significant one because of the presence of uh, Mars in Pisces now, creating a, a square to this other uh, Sagittarius energy, okay, and things of that nature. So that's going to play into the full moon. We got the moon actually, you know, going through a lot this week but so this is going to affect the Merc mercury retrograde because as always we're going to have the need or feel the need to get things off our chest and it's not that we can't get them off our chest is that we have to take time just what the retrograde is about take time to review what it is that we're feeling and gauge the best way and time to communicate what it is that we feel. So instead of just coming, this energy this week is going to make you want to confront whoever or whatever you, it is you need to deal with, right? 
I would do that in a very subtle way. So self-reflecting, journaling, okay, uh, seeking advice. Say it's someone that you need to say something to, I would seek advice from another, like someone who you consider wise, right? Or, you know, um, just anyone who can uh, gauge, help you better understand what it is that you need to say, okay? And if you're saying it in the correct way. So be someone who's going to give you some wisdom and be honest with you rather than just coming uh, at that person, okay? But like I said, nonetheless, if you're Mercury ruled, you're going to be feeling this uh, retrograde uh, more intensely than others. So go within, review yourself. If you're feeling scattered with Mars and Pisces, it's definitely time to do some spiritual work, things of that nature. All right. So with Scorpio season ending, so by the end of the week, Friday, uh, we have a full moon occurring in the sign of of Sagittarius and the moon will be in Gemini uh, and with Mars in Pisces it's gonna create a, a T-square so overall this week our emotions we're gonna be really irritated agitated going through a lot uh, the moon will be squaring Saturn when it's in Aries uh, as well as squaring Pluto this is gonna add to you know the agitation the frustration the emotional ups and downs so by the time the full moon comes around we're probably going to want to explode but like i just said previously take your time be with be careful of what you say all right don't say don't be too hasty okay don't be impulsive because mars here in pisces is like i don't want conflict but in the spur of the moment, I might just, you know, go to an extreme and do something that, you know, I end up regretting. So be careful of letting your anger run away with you because you are probably more than likely end up regretting that. The way to combat this is to literally get into a spiritual zone, combat it with, you know, meditation, even even if you need to, you know, have a drink to take the edge off, do something, find some type of release, okay? Because that's what full moons are about. Find some type of release, but in a spiritual way or in a, a creative way, all right? You, you don't want to, you want to take that aggression and this is what we actually call transmuting, okay? So with the moon being in Gemini, it is an excellent time to be to have an intellectual understanding of how we feel and why we feel. For those of us um, who haven't necessarily been, you know, um, using our energy in the correct manner, we're going to be enlightened about uh, what, what we've been doing to this point. And the key, like I said, is going to be some type of spiritual approach. It could be changing your diet exercising more because remember the opposite side of Pisces is Virgo so it speaks through through spiritual practices you know we find practical ways of exerting our energy all right so all of this is uh, going to be in play this week so you know uh, definitely take it easy reflect okay um, be in tune with the energy do your rituals Okay, and just like I said, release that energy, that frustration in a very spiritual or creative way and you'll be fine. All right. Keep this in mind. This too shall pass. All right. Find a mantra. So this is my interpretation of this week's energy. I hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. Till next time. Peace.